Today is IVIG day. Nurse should be here soon. And we're gonna do this. Let's do it. Good morning. Hello. Mary's doing her morning therapy. Finished my mist. Good job, whoa. And doing the bike, and we've today is IVIG day. It's been a while. It's been 15 months. 15 months. All right, I'm inside working on using some of the turkey. Peter smoked a turkey, so I want to be on top of it so we can use the meat before it goes bad. So, first thing I did was I made enchiladas and put them in the freezer. And then I have three small ones that I kept out that we can put in the fridge and use in the next day or two. And then I'm gonna chop up some of the turkey and make some chicken salad, turkey salad. Yay, yay, yay. Last I heard from the nurse uh, yesterday, it sounded like we were gonna do around 12. So I have about 40 minutes and I just realized I looked in my IVIG collected, I collected all the supplies I needed and I realized I need my blood pressure cuff and thermometer. So that's what I'm grabbing right now and then we will access the port and Move to the next task. So, blood pressure and thermometer. Just got the EpiPen, put that in the bag. I mean, bin, whatever it's called. And I just finished my workout and my airway clearance. Cat, my current IVIG bin, all the essentials, pre-dose Benadryl and Tylenol, and okay, so we need to do my port. Um, I have this and this. My port looks like when it's not accessed. You can barely see it. I I think it's really funny. We once made a video mm -hmm. that we titled uh, Lego in my chest and I think a lot of people clicked on that video thinking Mary had a Lego in her chest. Okay sorry camera died while we were telling a story about a Lego in a chest oh, and a lot of people clicked on that video called Lego in my chest. I think because like the thumbnail of the picture really looked like there was a Lego because it has these three bumps that are guides for where to stick the needle and it looks like a Lego. Anyways we got Mary's port accessed. And the crinkly sound of uh, like the it being her. accessed. Yeah. I remember one one time in college, the home care company sent me a needle that was horrendous. And I remember sitting in class and it was like, like the needle on the back oh. of my port. Pretty sure the people next to me could hear me. I don't know. So Mary's got her IVIG bin already. I showed them. Oh, okay. So. Nurse should be here soon, and we're gonna do this. Let's do it. All right, you did it. All good. We had some pump issues. The pump was programmed incorrectly. But my nurse figured it out. They don't do it the same way. Mine used to be programmed for each rate change and the pump did it. Beep beep, I'm going to the next rate change. Right. I take my blood pressure and my temperature just to make sure. And if there was any issue, you just push pause and deal with it. But now 
The nurse has to program it every time. Strong you. But I ain't got no needle in my chest. I got yeah, so yeah. like Benadryl y. Oh. And it was making me feel, it was like making me feel like I was struggling to breathe more because I had to wear a mask because the nurse was here. And um, so I ended up going outside and so that I could take my mask out off and that helped a lot. Yeah. Because, oh, the Benadryl just kind of makes me feel like. Well, I wanted to fall asleep, I, but I knew I'd have to take my, temp, my blood pressure and my temperature every 20 minutes. And I was like, ooh, that's just going to get really frustrating. You know when you're like mostly asleep mm -hmm. and it's like... Argh. So I didn't fall asleep, but I kind of was like... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool, it's not really bleeding. Awesome. Um, anyway, it's done. Good job. All done. All right, moving on. I made this bone broth yesterday, and... Now that it has sat in the fridge, I can take the fat off the top and then put the broth in the freezer. And look at, like, I feel like that is so satisfying. That is some good bone broth right there because it, like, it's not liquid. It's, like, gelatin. That's amazing. It's going to make some good soup. Okay, if you are a person who makes homemade broth, you're probably understanding my excitement. These are the two smaller bags from yesterday plus what I used for our soup I made yesterday. And then this is what I have from today that's going in the freezer. These are already frozen, so I'm about to put them all in the freezer. Woo -woo! We need to go drop off and pick up Harry's prescription. So I'm excited to get out of the house. I had some really intense Benadryl hours and I feel a lot better. Maybe like it's all gone. Either way, even if there's a little lingering, I feel much better than I did a few hours ago. the goodness of God. Okay, we got back with Harry's pills and I take it back. I am super tired. <sighs> What'd you make in? Cranberry sauce. We thought we had a can in the pantry, but we didn't. But we had fresh or frozen whole cranberries. So, yep. Making some sauce. I just threw potatoes in the water so we can have mashed potatoes. I'm gonna make some gravy using the amazing broth and turkey and gravy let us eat and be merry and be tired both of us are zonked merry because of benadryl me because i didn't sleep well last night and as always we'll see you tomorrow good night ollie oh yeah good night ollie we love you